It was very disturbing that I found out that Charlie Pride had to suck it up to play in Nashville at the Grand Ole Opry and be a country music artist. Because what came out is that Willie Nelson called him a super N-word and George Jones sprayed KKK on his car. He called them friends. But what friends were those? And he couldn't say nothing to the Nashville establishment because the Grand Ole Opry and Nashville country music let him in. What does that say? This guy had 29 number one songs on the country charts. Kiss an Angel Good Morning, which everybody knows. But, but, not one country music award. He got a Lifetime Achievement Award the last year. And he passed from you know what with no mask on. And that's the sad reality of how he passed. But he had to go and tolerate this racism in Nashville. And I've said this before. I'm going to say this again. And I don't care on these streets because, you know, you when you speak the truth about race, people don't want to hear it or they got a problem with it. But whatever. Country music is not just white music. It was created by African-American blues and it was watered down. And Nashville is part of America and there's black and white people there. So who gave the right to make the Grand Ole Opry and turn into like the Grand Wizard? I mean, it is music. And Charlie Pride was a respectful artist, but it's sad that he had to suck up just to fit in because if he had a spoke out about what Willie Nelson and George Jones said, they would have probably ran him out, if not worse. This is a sad reminder, and it wasn't that long ago, of how things have been. And you don't want to believe me? Look at the mess Beyonce had to go through by saying she had a country album out and the hate she caught. And this was in the past three or four months. So you can imagine what Charlie Pride went through. Doesn't make Willie Nelson look good, and it don't make George Jones look good. And I don't look at them the same. Because hateful, spiteful words have no place. And we're talking music is music and in life in general. Charlie Pride, who was the Jackie Robinson of country music, had to endure that. That is wrong. But this came out. This is beyond sad and disgusting. However, there are still those in the good old land of Nashville, the grand old Opry, who don't have a problem with this. Don't hold nobody accountable. I do. I do. Two things can be true at the same time. I think Willie Nelson and George Jones were two very talented artists. However, these remarks, I don't look at them the same again. And I hold Charlie Pride in higher regard. It's a shame he was susceptible and had to deal with this. That's the sad reality. Please like, subscribe, welcome thoughts, comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another share if you like. And please hit that membership because when you do the videos you request, I get them back to you. Stay safe. Stay true. Stay honest. Stay here. Stay cold. Stay cool. Stay calm. Stay clear. Stay good. Stay clean. I'm out.